Hi guys and welcome back to Clearview Driving. Today I'm doing a mock test with Hannah. Now this is the first time we're driving together. Yeah. But we've done a little bit of a drive already so you're comfortable yeah. with the car. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the car you're driving is a Corsa so it's a little bit different. Yeah, very different. Um, and you said you've got your test booked at the in, in, in August? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you've got plenty of time now. We're only in the uh, end of March at the moment. Mm -hmm. And um, what else was there? Yeah, you've done about sort of over 40 hours. Yeah. So you've got plenty of practice. Plenty, yeah. Okay, so we're going to get started now. Do you know what's involved in the test? you want me to tell you a little bit? Yeah. Okay, so throughout the drive, I want you to follow the road ahead. Whatever I need you to turn, I will tell you in plenty of time. If I don't say anything, I want you to keep going straight. If you're not sure where you're going, just ask. Mm. But I will get you to do a little bit of independent driving. And I'm going to give you some signs to follow, okay? And we're going to carry out one manoeuvre and we may also carry out the emergency stop. The main criteria here is that you need to be driving nice and safe doing everything yeah. okay you're not expected to be perfect so don't worry all right so we're gonna get started now so I hope you guys enjoy watching these videos don't forget to like it don't forget to subscribe to the channel and comment down below how you think of uh, Hannah's drive here okay so without any further ado let's get started so before we get started could you tell me how would you know if there was a problem with your anti-lock braking system oh there should be an ABS sign on the dashboard okay a problem Okay, that's fine. So whenever you're ready, Hannah, I'd like you to start the engine. We're going to str go straight down this road and then I'll give you directions throughout. You have to have the braking clutch on and then start. It won't start otherwise. No. The car's not on. up your handbrake is still on yeah no. it's off you oh. can see the red light's gone right Off and you're ready. When moving off from this park position, Hannah gets another minor fault for moving off safety. She does initially look all around. From the point she looked around to actually moving off, there was a long delay, so she needs to check towards the road and over her shoulder again. Hannah stalls the engine due to changing gears a bit too early. As we're going uphill, she should have waited until the car was a little bit faster before changing into second gear.
road on your right, please. the roadworks ahead, Hannah gets a serious fault for awareness and planning. She positions right next to the centre line, but there's not enough space for any oncoming traffic to pass. She should have positioned more towards the left at this point. Sure. Hannah does quickly readjust, but the van had already stopped by this point. She should have started moving as soon as she saw the van approaching and this would have gone down as a minor fault. Take the next road on your right, please. After the roadworks, Hannah should have moved back towards the left-hand side of the road before turning right. She continues to turn from the wrong side, getting a serious fault for position turning right. get to the end of this road, Hannah continues without stopping, but she does look both ways. But if you're not sure if the road is clear, it's better to stop, have a good look and then continue. park position, always remember to do a final check towards the right. If you're waiting for a few cars to pass, remember to look over your shoulder towards the road again, as this could be an issue if there was a junction on the right or if there was someone in your blind spot about to move off at the same time as you. you to do now is to reverse back for about two car lengths keeping a reasonable distance from the pavement and try not to touch the curb so reverse back for two car lengths please
continue reversing for another car length, please. That'd be great there, thank you. And drive off whenever you're ready. After stalling the engine at this point, Hannah gets a serious fault for move off control and observation. Vehicles are starting to pass on the right and she should have looked around. I also had to talk her through how to move off as she kept rolling back. Don't worry about the handbrake, just prepare your feet and you'll be fine. You're changing into second gear too early on an uphill gradient. That's why yeah. the car keeps switching off. Okay? It's off now. No, 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 it's on now. Just, when you're ready, slowly move off again, okay? Just, just wait for the van. Just wait for the van. And then move off. Just press the accelerator. And there it is. Just lift that clutch a little bit. Just a tiny little lift and hold. And then we're moving. You have to wait a little bit when changing into second on a gradient. that we're moving on to is fairly busy so you need to make sure the traffic on the left hand side has started to pile up and the keep clear box ahead you can move on to when the traffic on the right is waiting behind. As we go left at this T-junction Hannah gets a dangerous fault for control and steering. She ends up going over the pavement on the left hand side with her front and back left tyres. The lorry on the right hand side was giving her way but she needed to move forward out of the junction and then slowly start to steer left. When we go up there, we're just going to turn left, okay? We're going to crash into that car, but you went fully on the pavement there, okay? Just, just wait. Just continue now, slowly. Just turn left at the um, traffic lights there, okay?
going forward, the two lanes start to merge. It's a good idea to use your mirrors towards the right in case of overtaking vehicles as the right-hand lane merges inwards. While driving along on the steel carriageway, Hannah gets a serious fault for position normal driving. She's driving over the centre line and nearly into the middle lane. Somebody that was driving in the middle lane was forced to move into the third lane to avoid us. Hannah tends to keep her hands quite low when holding the steering wheel. Now this isn't a serious fault holding your hands like this, but as long as you can control the steering. Driving at higher speeds, the steering wheel is more sensitive. The best position to hold your hands on the steering is at a quarter to three position. Hannah gets the control steering fault as we're going forward. She starts driving over the white line on the right while the red van is passing. She has to suddenly steer left to avoid the van. Coming up to take the exit from this carriageway, Hannah doesn't check her mirrors or indicate. She's about to miss the exit so I had to remind her that we're turning off. She starts moving left without checking or indicating. As we turn left at these traffic lights, the new road has two lanes. Hannah moves into the overtaking lane in the new road, which gives her a minor fault. As we go forward down this road, Hannah starts moving towards the left without checking her mirrors or indicating with two vehicles present on her left, giving her a serious fault for use of mirrors changing direction again.
park on the left just after this bus stop kind of in the shade of that tree just kind of move into that space there just slow it right down we're going to be stopping here for a little while just break just slow it right down stop there that'll be fine that'll be fine just before that because it's overgrown all right secure the car and just switch off the engine all right just give me a few minutes okay mm -hmm. so we're going to go through that now all right so that's the end of your uh, test how was that for you? It's quite a lot um, of things happening there, wasn't there? Yeah. And I don't feel like it's all to do with the car. And I know with the gears you struggled a little bit with, mm. you changed between cars and stuff, but most of the other stuff, it's kind of your awareness of what's going on around you. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go over the main point. So firstly, um, you had a little bit of trouble with the gears. The car switched off on that gradient, didn't it? Yeah. Did you realize why it switched off? Yeah. Cause it kind of, struggled yeah. to get going yeah did you realize it's because you were changing too early mm. i wasn't adding enough gas yeah and plus with the gear change because you take a little bit too long actually clutching changing mm. bringing it up that's what's causing the car to slow down so much mm. so the car slows down quite quickly going uphill as soon as you step off the accelerator mm. and then on top of that we're trying to go into a higher gear which doesn't have the same power as gear one did mm. so that's why the car was really struggling and it turned off and it we just stood there for a little while Steering, you know what that junction where that lorry was on the right of yeah. you? He was giving you way. Yeah, yeah, he's looking at you, isn't he? So you know he's giving you way. But you should have thought about the way we're coming out. You just steered the whole thing. Even the front tire hit the pavement, not even the back. So we needed to come out the junction, didn't we? Yeah. You kind of just turned on the spot. So that yeah. was a, a big issue there. Um, moving off safety. Now, this is something you are checking. Yeah. You're looking all around. But then let's say there's two or three cars and you're waiting for that car and you know, okay, I can go after that one or, you know, you check both these two mirrors, yeah. but you don't check your blind spot again. And that happened a few times. And the points that it was happening, it was, it was quite main. Mm. So you need to recheck that blind spot over your shoulder. Mm. Is that something that's been brought to your attention before? Yeah. Yeah. Then we had use of mirrors change direction, which was just over here. So when we turned off of that dual carriageway and we turned left, the road was really wide. You went into the overtaking lane, which is fine. We should have stayed in the left lane anyways, but once you were in the overtaking lane, you decided to move left with no mirrors, no signal. Mm. There was a car behind, but they weren't very close. I didn't have to take control, but you just, you're not letting anybody know what you're about to do and you're yeah. not really checking. Okay. And then lastly, lane discipline. You know, when we were driving on that 40 road, yeah. you realize you got hooted yeah. at, right? Mm. Why was that? So I was hogging the lane, I was like going in between. Yeah, you were kind of over that white line mm. and even later after that we had a bit of a, a jolt, yeah. even later. You kept looking down. That's the issue, like I kept thinking like, am I in the right gear? Like, should I move up, down? So you, so you were never in the wrong gear? Mm. Like you were just changing gears a bit too early, mm. but you were never in the wrong gear. Yeah. So I feel like sometimes the, the gear lever was just distracting, you kept looking down and then that was kind of affecting the drive as well. Yeah. Okay, the, I want to just talk about that bit with the traffic light. Oh, okay. So, as we went forward, we got some roadworks in front. Yeah. Now you've kind of positioned yourself in the middle. In the middle, yeah. And then what happened? The guy beeped because I was in his way. Yeah, so the guy turned up. You did realise straight away, so you moved. You should really be thinking about, well, if there's roadworks, yeah. there's going to be traffic. Yeah. Where are they going to get through? Yeah, so a bit more planning on what the other cars in front will be doing, mm -hmm. where they're going to position. How are you feeling? Oh, a bit stressed. Maybe it's the heat. <laughs> I told you to take your jacket off. You. I told you you're going to get hot. It's the oh, weather. It's not helping. Um, there were lots of steering concerns. The major one, you know, which was the bit where you ended up on the pavement. Yeah. But besides that, um, we think where it was. Most of it on the carriage where when you, you, you know, your hands on the steering, you keep mm. them quite low. Mm. Like you're allowed to hold it like that but yeah. i felt like that was partly to blame for how you're steering on that carriageway yeah. so try and keep your hands kind of just above that three o'clock position so either ten to two or quarter to three because you, your hand was down here and i felt like that was kind of the reason why yeah. you kept leaning right the maneuver was really good though yeah pull up on the right, yeah. <laughs> so pull up on the right and reversing two car lengths that was really good um just you did look right blind spot very late though mm. Cause you kind of thoroughly checked here and you went all the way to that mirror and then you didn't check 
You started reversing and then you remembered. Mm. So that was good, yeah. but you've got to have a good look because there was, there's like, I think there might have been an entrance on the right soon, but no, nobody was there, nobody was around the whole time. Mm. And even with reversing, you could see it was a little out, so you even managed to kind of wiggle your way in towards the pavement, so that was great. Mm. Okay, so there are good parts to your drive as well. But the bits that we need to go work on, we're going to go work on some of these things now. And then that will hopefully help you for your future yeah, lessons. You. <laughs> okay? I'm going to go through the rest of this with you now. Yeah. Okay? Alright, so that's the end of our mock test video today. Hopefully that will be useful for you, Hannah, going yeah. forward. Now we're going to go work on some of these things as well, so don't worry. But um, hopefully you can now learn from this, because you have got plenty of time before your test. Mm -hmm. yeah. So don't worry. Okay? All right, so that's the end of the test. Hopefully it's been useful. Don't forget to like the video, comment down below and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.